Okay, so uh, it's the first time back on the lathe for a little while. Um, first bit of turning I've done for a, a while. Um, I've not done a, a video for a few weeks now, so um, uh, but I've got this bit of a sported beach, um, which has got some lovely sporting in it. Um, so uh, I did make a bowl out of the other the other half of this piece. Um, some weeks ago and I think that is actually a, a video on my channel so um, I've got this little bit left and um, it's about seven inches um, in diameter so I'm just going to turn this down um, um, I'm going to let it sort of develop as I go um, I have marked in the position there where I want to put a, a mortise in there just so I can re-chuck it um, and I'll leave a foot I might actually leave a little bit more than that um, because the sporting has a tendency to break away a little bit so I might just leave a little bit more than that uh, and then put some shape on the bottom and then I want to reverse chuck it um, and shape the top and put a lid with a finial on. We'll get the lathe up and running and uh, hopefully you enjoy the video. put um, the mortise in the bottom of that um, probably slightly deeper than I would normally do um, that's really um, just so that I get a good grip onto the onto the piece and uh, if I'm going to put a little pedestal on here which I'm pretty sure I am then the pedestal will fit nicely into that uh, when I come to do it Okay, so I think I've got the shape um, pretty well how I want it. Um, I have just adjusted the, the foot slightly. Um, you might notice that on the video, um, but I did make a slight adjustment to the foot there. Um, and I've got a slight OG um, on the bottom there, but that's as far as I'm going to go with the shaping at this stage, um, on the bottom at least. Um, I'm just going to true up the edge of this now. Um, because I need to get a nice edge to this uh, I'm looking to um, I'm looking to have probably about an 8mm uh, rim around here before I start shaping the top um, so I want to leave about 8mm um, but I just need to flatten this off a little bit before I mark that up so we'll do that now Okay, so let's just uh, true that up a bit. Um, we can come back to that a bit later on, but I'm just going to mark on there now um, a line round, round about 8mm from that bottom edge. There we are. I've um, sanded that up now um, to 240. Um, it's really important when you're sanding um, to just stop between the grits and check that you've got no sanding marks and no tool marks in there. Um, and the other thing to bear in mind with Sporty Beach is um, you get very soft areas um, and obviously other harder areas. So there is a tendency if, you, if you're over aggressive on the sanding, um, you get dips in the, in the surface. So uh, just be mindful of that. Um, I don't think that looks too bad at this stage. Um, carry on and get, get that sealed now. Uh, um, I'm still not 100% sure what finish I'm going to put on here. Um, generally speaking, <clears throat> something like this, um, I would use um, just an oil finish. Um, but I'm just thinking I might, I might actually put on a... Um, a gloss well not a heavy gloss but a, a wax finish um, see I've got a little bit of a uh, bit of a ridge there where that little bit of soft uh, timber there comes into this harder piece I've got a little ridge there so I probably just need to sand a little bit more around there so I'll get on and do that <clears throat> some are finished sanding up I'm not going to sand in here because that's gonna that's the if you like that's a mortise to put the pedestal into um, 
So I'm just going to do a little bit more sanding around here and then uh, by which time hopefully I've made my mind up what I'm going to finish the piece with. I think the next thing is to take it off the off the chuck, turn it around and uh, we'll get uh, we get some shape on the top and then start to hollow out. So I'll take that off of there and I'll pop that onto onto there and um, just remember that you want to hold this but you don't want to over tighten it um, at this stage until we get okay so I'll flip that round now um, now we're ready to start on the top and get the, the top shaped um, I'm going to leave the uh, the opening in the top uh, I'm going to hollow this out um, so I'm going to leave this uh, mortise pretty well the size that's what the that's that's the size of the opening on the top um, I might come back a little bit back here um, just with a recess in here to take take the lid not too sure yet but I'm going to put a line on there just as a guide at this stage so I want to work back to to there somewhere there um, and I'm going to do or attempt to more or less mirror image what I've got on the on the bottom. It probably won't be exactly the same, but I want to try and get a similar shape on the top as I've got on the bottom. Okay, so I'm reasonably happy with that shape. Um, I've pretty well mirrored the underside. Um, I think I'm going to take this down a bit. It's a little bit high here. So I think I'm going to take this down um, <coughs> and then um, and then we'll start to hollow out the inside. So uh, yeah, so I'll take this down first, then start to hollow out the inside. Um, and then once I've got that hollowed out to where I want it, then I can um, start to sand it up really and then think about the, uh, the lid that I'm going to put on there. So that's hollowed that out. Um, I possibly could. I don't want to go any deeper uh, with the hollowing. I could possibly go a little bit further out there, but I think I think I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, so I've um, I've got that hollowed out as far as I want now. Um, I have undercut it back into there. Um, that's as far as I'm going to go. Um, I don't see any point in going any further. So it's just a question now of cleaning up, sanding this up, just cleaning up this face here, and uh, and then getting on to uh, make the pedestal and the lid. So I'm gonna get this sanded up. I won't bore you with all the sanding. Uh, and once it's sanded, um, I'll come back and I'll talk to you about the pedestal and lid. Okay, so um, I've finished the uh, the main body of the, the piece. Um, I've got the, the lid to go in, as I said, uh, and I'm just going to make up the uh, pedestal now to fit into this recess in the bottom. Okay, so I've got a, a piece of oak um, here that I'm going to turn down for the um, pedestal on the bottom of the uh, of the piece. Um, so I'm just going to true this up and I'm going to put a tenon on the bottom to fit into the, the recess in the into the uh, bottom of the piece. 
um, and then once we've done the pedestal and that's all set up then we go on to do the the lid so I'm going to get this turned now to fit into the bottom of here <music> Okay, I'm uh, reasonably happy now with the shape of that. I've just got to refine this a little bit. Um, I don't want too wide a step at the bottom there, so I'm going to part this off back here probably. <coughs> um, I might even just reverse it into the into the chuck. Um, I put the bigger chuck on and reverse it and uh, grip it on the on this tenon, um, and then I can clean off the bottom to suit really um but i'm reasonably happy with the the shape of that i don't want it to be uh too dissimilar to the curve i've got on the, the bottom of the piece so i'm just going to refine that a little bit more and then uh and then we'll reverse it in the chuck and uh, clean up the bottom so i put some sand in sealer on this and then uh and then i'll knock that back with a um very fine paper just to uh, take the grain down because the sanding sealer will probably just raise the grain a little bit and uh, what I'm going to do now is just uh, give it a coat of Yorkshire grit the uh, to use on your pieces um, so just applying a nice coat of, of that onto my my favorite which is Hampshire Sheen high gloss so just need to give a, a coat of that over the piece harden off a little bit before I apply the next coat but for the purposes of, of this um, okay so I'm happy happy with that now um, I'm just going to uh, take this off and, and mount it in the uh, in the other jaws, I'm going to change the jaws over and mount it, I'll uh, grip it on these um, on this shoulder here, uh, just to finish off the bottom. Um, but I'm reasonably happy with the shape of it. Um, I'm, as I said, I'm trying to reflect the... That's what it's uh, hopefully going to look like when it's all polished up. Um, as I say, I'm probably going to wax this to match the the bottom but i was thinking of oil on on the uh um sported beach here but there is a tendency with the oil sometimes to um move the black uh because there's black fungus in here uh, tends to move it across the grain and can it doesn't always look so nice so i want to try and keep it as natural as possible <laughs>
Okay, so that's all the pieces finished. Um, they just need a final, very fine sand, and uh, I'm going to put a, a nice wax finish on to finish everything the same. Um, I've made the foot out of a piece of oak, which will fit into the bottom of there, and uh, I just need to finish off the bottom of that. Um, I'll just take some of the weight out of that. A um, little piece of sapili for the lid, and uh, a finial that I made a while ago, which is in my my little stock of finials that I make, and uh, hopefully um, you've liked the video. So if you did, then uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, share the video. And uh, if you've not already, then you might like to consider subscribing to my channel, where you'll find um, a lot more videos um, of various projects I've done over the last two or three years. So. There it is. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And uh, like I say, hopefully it won't be so long before I put the next video out. But until then, I'm going to say bye for now. Mm -hmm.